In today's Escape from Tarkov video, I'm going to show you my personal best method to farm rogues on Lighthouse. Rogues are supposed to be pretty hard to kill, but I will show you a detailed method how you can finish it and do the job quite easily. Let's not waste any time and let's march to the video. Dear comrades, Ivan the German is back and I want to bring you right into an actual raid. We shouldn't lose any further time. So let's start and I'm very glad that you are here. Patch 12.12 .12 in Escape from Tarkov is pretty awesome. We have a lot of stuff to do. So to give you a, a raw map that you know where I am to f that you can find the spot quite easily. I will show to you where I am right now. As you can see, we have, let's say, the first border to get uh, into the compound where the rogues are so that you actually know where we are. We have two uh, stationary guns. One is here and one is somewhere around there, so you know where we are. And you have to follow um, this, this river to get to my spot. This spot is pretty good because you are very close to the actual compound. And what's also very important, you, can get, you, you don't get shot so easily from rogues. On top of that, you are pretty good. You have good cover, but you will see what I mean in a couple of secs. So you have this second smaller bridge over here. You have this small town over there. If you need energy, and this is pretty important, you can loot these houses, this small town there. So, then cross the bridge and you are almost there. You're almost there, guys. This spot is not very hidden. It's like, it's like, look, oh, I will reveal a secret, but I tried a lot. I wasted a lot of gear to show you the exact, exactly spots, exact spot um, where you can be and from from which direction you can shoot the rogues. This is very important. And I want to be as detailed as possible so that you can try that out. So you have to follow this small path over here. Then you can see the next river over here and you can follow the rocks. And then you have this fallen tree over here and you can cross it. So from here, it's pretty important. From this area, you're from here basically pretty safe and from here, you can climb up these, this path. But from here, you should be very, very um, careful because you have mines in this area. Basically, this area over here is a minefield. So stay on the left side, stay on the rocks, and you are, you are safe. You can follow this road over here. And this path, you are, again, pretty good to go. So, and this path over here is also, is also fine. But you have to be aware, guys because here is good but basically a couple of meters in this area it's not good like this is a minefield you can see this over here this is a minefield don't don't go inside of this area but here you are good to go don't go up <laughs> do not do the mistake don't climb this area this area over here that's your spot and from here you can shoot the rogues, basically from here you are good to go. No worries about this area. And I like this area over here because it's a little bit behind cover. Especially this place over here is very nice. But be aware, and that's why I try to be as detailed as possible. You can see my laser. This is a bad area. Like, do not go over here. From here you can shoot. You are pretty much good to go. This is fine. But be aware of this area. Then you can continue. Everything over here is fine. And from here, you can shoot the rogues over there. So let's start with the rogues. And I brought uh, the rangefinder, which you can mount on top of your weapon, which is very nice. You can use the handheld Vortex rangefinder, but you don't need, actually, you don't need a rangefinder. I will show that to you as well. So let's start with the rogues. We have the first two over here. There's that, That's the first one. And the other one is over there. And you can see it from my rangefinder. We have 200 meters and 250. But I would let them alive. I actually would let them alive. Because, oh, we have some rogues in the camp. So be aware of them. So, But as you can see, you are pretty much good to go. So, again. 200 meters, 250. Easy shots. Even without a rangefinder, easy shots. You should, and that's very important. I got, I brought to you the Schmidt and Bender because it's a very nice sight. I love it. But um, every scope with with zeroing up to 300 is necessary. You can do it with the Welday, but you need the 300 
meters because you have like this is the first i call it number one this is number one for me this is number two because it's in the middle you have uh, this guy over here which is also between uh, 250 and 300 depends on your spot as you can see it's 300 right now and you you have this guy over here sometimes or this guy over here this one which is also 300 so and then the last guys on the sanctuary uh, the sentry is are these guys over here you have this one let's go a little bit further down to 50 and then we have this guy's this guy over here which is also almost 300 so i i tried it a lot I, i'm not even i'm not even I, I don't play with body armor because if these guys shoot at you you're almost dead the m4 is a pretty the 556 by 45 is a nice caliber but they have a lot of uh, a lot of um uh, head armor and head hp even with um with smg uh, sorry even with smb i hit it one guy two times in the head and he survived it so you should try uh, ap uh, like 366 ap this is awesome works very well the weapon is cheap you can suppress it for 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 less you can buy the weapon you can buy the suppressor from level one jaeger in skier trader so let's try another shot it's 250 as impact was there but they are alive so i brought the m4 with you to just to show you you can do it with almost every weapon and don't worry guys they will go back to their position so i brought to you a lot of clips you can see that they are one shot and it's perfectly fine but even if you have like the suppressed aider or whatever you can you can finish the job be aware just to give you a, a bigger a bigger info and input about this area like you can cross from here to there it's fine but don't go in this area, minefield, which is also very important. You have mines in this area, like this area over here. This area over here is also a minefield. Just in case you want to loot your kills, be aware, minefield. Then after you kill the guys on the sentry, you should be aware of these guys over here. These guys are mad. These guys are very, very mad. And they are a little bit harder to kill because they are running a around a lot. So that's basically it with the whole method. I want to summarize it again. What you need is like a high damage weapon with a good scope and suppressed. The perfect thing is to have the 366 with AP or you can even go for some with the Echo or Gexa. But I would go for the AP because you need this high impact damage. And in case they have helmets, I would rather recommend the AP. You get them for a mission. And it's very important to have a scope to zero till 300 meters, like Schmidt and Bender or the hand sold are quite cheap. You don't need the rangefinder because the, let's say again, one has a distance to from two to 250. Then you have the 250 to 300. It works out during the night as well, pretty good, but don't think they the rogues are worse in the night they are still pretty deadly pretty dangerous and after you killed the guys at the stationary guns be aware of the guys in the middle they are a little bit harder to kill um range from your position are is, is 200 meters into the camp or let's say to the chopper 150 to 200 works out quite well and if you finish the job you can uh, rather use the armor train or the nor northern northern checkpoint i would recommend the northern checkpoint and um, be aware of the of the military exit on the top right. I will mark the map and I will mark everything. You have to have 5,000 rubles depending on your reputation from fans. But you have to have some rubles if you want to leave there. That's basically it for my guide to kill rogues uh, quite well. It worked out for me uh, pretty good. And if you have like a second guy or third guy, it's even better if you have one guy which can secure your closer range, closer distance. If you have some scaf players coming up or like in your closer area till 50 meters, you can have some scaf players pretty close. But this spot is pretty well, pretty unknown because they rather want to go straight up into the camp or they died before or died to mines. If you have any questions, please uh, write a comment in the comment section below. And as always, we Germans want to win at least something. So don't forget to like this video. It really helps out and see you in the next one.